Hi students, welcome to the problem solving session on a plane wave reflection by a dielectric medium. Right, so let us see that when it is incident normally. A uniform plane wave traveling in air is incident on the plane boundary between air and another dielectric medium with epsilon r is equal to 4. The reflection coefficient for the normal incidence. So it's normal incidence based problem. Right, for normal incidence uh, problem, we know the reflection coefficient is given by gamma is equal to eta 2 minus eta 1 divided by eta 2 plus eta 1. Right, so the plane wave is traveling in air. So, first it is traveling in air, so like this, and it is incident on a plane boundary between air and another dielectric. So, this is a boundary. Fine. This is dielectric with uh, epsilon r is equal to 4. Right? So, medium 1 is air. So, here uh, eta 1, eta 1 uh, for air wave evidence is 120 pi. So, that we know. Right? For eta 2 only, we have to find. Once we find if eta 2, we can find the total answer. So, what is eta 2? So, what I do is instead of substituting uh, eta 1 and eta 2 value, we substitute the parameter value eta 2 I can write as uh, eta is mu by epsilon right we know eta is root of mu by epsilon so the medium 1 is a free space no problem mu naught by epsilon naught so here eta 1 is equal to root of mu naught by epsilon naught that is equal to 120 pi we know right medium 2 we don't know it is mu by epsilon so instead of mu we can substitute mu naught mu r epsilon naught epsilon naught but uh, they have given epsilon r only, so mu r we don't know, so we can substitute mu r is equal to 1. So, uh, eta 2 can be, uh, I can write uh, mu naught, epsilon naught is uh, same 8.854 into 10 power minus 12, epsilon r is 4, right. So, that only I will substitute. So, 4 epsilon naught minus uh, mu naught by epsilon naught, eta 1 is mu naught by epsilon naught. Similarly, here mm, root of uh, mu naught by 4 epsilon naught minus uh, mu naught by epsilon naught, right? So, it will be becoming 1 minus, if you simplify it, it is becoming 1 minus root 4 divided by uh, 1 plus root 4. That will be giving minus 1 by 3, right? So, if you write it in a magnitude and a phase angle form, it will be gamma is equal to 1 by 3 is minus 0.33, it is minus, so angle is 180 degree, right. So, this is what my reflection coefficient, okay. In magnitude form, simply it is gamma is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3, right. Minus 1 by 3 is 0.33 minus it is minus, so the angle should be, and that is reflected back, so the angle between angle should be minus 180 degree. Clear or not? So that's what uh, the simple problem. Okay, so I hope you understand this problem. Next problem is uh, assume that uh, electric and magnetic field waves traveling in free space are normally incident on the surface or interface with the perfect dielectric. So what is happening? Yeah. Wave is traveling in medium 1, which is free space. So, eta 1 is equal to 120 pi. Normally incident as usual. Normal incident free space with uh, at the interface with uh, perfect dielectric with epsilon r is equal to 3. So, here epsilon r is equal to 3. Compute magnitude of uh, incident and reflected and transmitted E and H. So, E i we have to find, E r we have to find. ET we have to find HI, HR, HT. So it's a big question. We have to do so many things, but it is very important. If we do this problem, we can understand the subject very easily. Okay, let us go and do that. Right. So uh, what is the only thing? This is the only thing they have given. So as usual, we find uh, eta 1 we found. Eta 2, that is a reflection, uh, sorry, intrinsic imprints at uh, medium 2 we find, once we find eta 1 and eta 2, then we can do, because we can find uh, from uh, 
transmission coefficient and reflection coefficient we can find ei and er these things so uh, we know eta 1 is uh, simply uh, 120 pi or 377 fine eta 2 we will find eta 2 is given by medium mu by epsilon mu by epsilon that is equal to mu naught mu r divided by epsilon naught epsilon r right so mu naught by epsilon naught is 120 pi root of if mu r is given by mu r we don't know so it is simply 1 epsilon r is given by 3 right if you simplify that eta 2 will be 217.5 ohm 51 ohm okay so eta 1 is 377 ohm okay now we got eta 1 and eta 2 we know that uh, transmission coefficient tau is given by et by ei right that is given by 2 eta 2 divided by eta 1 plus eta 2 for dielectric medium now we know what is my eta 2 value yes or no what is my eta 1 value right so if i substitute eta 2 and eta 1 value here what i get is et by ei will be equal to et by ei is equal to we will get 0.7317 i substituted eta 1 value eta 2 value and i get this answer I similarly we know what is gamma gamma is equal to er by ei for dielectric so er by ei is equal to eta 2 minus eta 1 divided by eta 2 plus eta 1 clear so if i substitute all the values what i get is uh, er by ei eta 1 value i know eta 2 value i know er by ei is equal to um, 0.2863 minus so I want a plus uh, modulus gamma magnitude. So that is what gamma mod gamma is given by 0.2863. Now we got uh, uh, what is called ER by EI. So okay. Next, similarly we find HR by HI for a transmission coefficient and a reflection coefficient. We know uh, transmission coefficient HT by HI hd by hi is given by what do you know that it is hd is nothing but i can write hd is et by eta 2 uh, hi is uh, ei by eta 1 right that is given by uh, et by ei into eta 1 divided by eta 2 right so et by I, ei i know this is et by ei eta 1 eta 2 value i know so this implies ht by hi is given by 1.2682 et by a value it is here eta 1 eta 2 we have found already substitute that we will get ht by hi value fine so this is ht by hi then we have to find uh, reflection hr by hi that we know it is given by minus er by ei here by VA we know that is given by mm, minus of minus this is mod so original EI only you have to substitute please remember right ER by EI is uh, this one for reflection coefficient only we have to take modulus ER by EI is minus 0.2863 only so minus 0.2863 so this implies HR by HI is given by uh, 0.2863 so now we got all the equations we have to simplify that right so what is the thing we have to do ei is given by so hr by hi so now ei is what is my ei right so now ei er and et right so ei er et we have to find okay so how can we find we can find ei is equal to you see from the formula er by ei is 0.283 et by ei is 0.7 right those things we have found right so what is my ei ei is incident uh, ei is given by uh, what do you call ei is given by eta 1 plus 
eta 2 right e is eta 1 plus eta 2 e r is uh, eta 2 minus eta 1 and uh, this is 2 eta 2 right uh, why you see what is the formula for uh, et by ei et by ei is equal to what 2 eta 2 divided by eta 1 plus eta 2 so here what do you understand et is equal to 2 eta 2 that's what i have put here ei is equal to eta 1 plus eta 2 clear and uh, what is our er by ei you see uh, er by ei is eta 2 minus eta 1 you remember er by ei er by ei is eta 2 minus eta 1 divided by eta 2 plus eta 1 right so ea is eta 2 plus eta 1 here also eta 2 so what is er eta 2 minus eta 1 so we know what is eta 1 377 eta 2 eta 2 is uh, 217 point uh, something 51 right 51 ohm so substitute all the values if you substitute eta 1 and eta 2 what do you get is here 594.51 volt per meter here minus 159.43 volt per meter here uh, 435.014 volt per meter right similarly you see also et is equal to er plus ei right so if you have, that also proved we know transmitter wave is given by incidence plus reflection wave if you add these two it will come so that is another important point you can check your answer right next one is uh, we know uh, er by hr right so hr what is hr hr is given by uh, i can write as minus er by eta 1 er i found right so this value you know hr formula hr is minus er by eta 1 eta er i found eta 1 also i know if you substitute that what you get is 0.43 ampere per meter similarly hti i know what is ht ht i can write in terms of et so et by eta 2 et i have here eta 2 377 uh, so if you substitute what you get is 2 ampere per meter right so i want hi hi is given by we know ht is equal to hi plus hr this implies hi is equal to ht minus hr if you substitute hi ht hr ht value what you get is hi is equal to 1.577 ampere per meter so this is the way we have to solve the problem right lengthy problem but is easy i hope you understand the problems clearly if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section thank you